Okay. Okay. We're good. All right, we're recording. So excited. Um, we have about 200 of you in the Diamond Dash group, and we thought, what an incredible opportunity to bring Darren on and have him just talk all things Shakeology. We all know that you all love Shakeology and you have your Shakeology daily, but a lot of times when <laughs> a lot of times when people come to you and have hesitations, objections, or think, oh, it's just another protein shake, and we know it's not. And we thought, what better than to have Darren come here and chat with you guys, speak to you guys, so that you have the tools to just feel even more confident when going out there and sharing it with other people. So I'm just going to stop talking because I want Darren to have a lot of time today because I'm excited to hear from him. Um, so Darren, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. You're so welcome. Um, so yeah, I'll just, uh, 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 they sent me the questions last night so I can uh, just go down the list on the deal and then if there's any time at the end feel free to ask some more and we can get uh into it but hopefully um i will give you what you need uh so all right so the first question i see here is uh why cane sugar and and uh there's some great reasons for that um number one i will say without creating too big of a topic i think unrefined sugar is not an issue per se in eating. Uh, I think it's been misunderstood. Um, and I think there's been some research that hasn't been fully vetted. And there's been some people talking about just this whole anti um, sugar that's causing a lot of problems. Yes, it does. But it's, it's not as demonized as everyone thinks it is. That being said, the cane sugar is, has amino acids, it has vitamins and minerals, that's why it gives it that brown, earthy color. Um, and the reason we went to organic cane sugar was simply um, because we were no longer okay with our supplier of agave. Um, they weren't uh, willing to meet our, in, our increasing specs and our increasing quality standards. So guess what? They're out. And because of that, uh, we moved to organic cane sugar. We looked at, I mean, when we look at ingredients, we look at massive amounts of how it contributes to the formula. Obviously, the quality standards that it has to have and meet and pass. Um, but organic, so, so that being said, the amount of sugar overall from all of the super fruits and all of the other contributions, I mean, it's on vanilla, I think it's seven grams, uh, and eight in total. And then plus all of the fiber, the prebiotics and probiotics in, the, in it, we actually, with organic cane sugar, we actually improve the biological uh, use uh, for Shakeology, meaning the glycemic index actually went down because we looked at the overall system. It's not, you have to understand that Shakeology is not hedging it, its bet on one ingredient. It works on a symphony and an alchemy of how that contributes to the overall product. And so when we went to organic cane sugar, A, it's a fantastically extracted, clean, no chemicals, not stripped, none of that crap. It has obviously the vitamins and minerals and even amino acids still in it. Um, so we're happy with that as an ingredient, but we needed to use less of it than even the agave as its overall contributor and it went down. So. That being said, it's just an education on sugar itself um, and also on the contrib contribution it has to the overall formula. Uh, and that's really where you can take that message and move it forward. A, it's quality is number one, it has to pass. And then how it's contributing to the overall formula. We've actually, because we do all these tests ourselves and, and we're not using chemicalized sweeteners of any kind kind right so we don't have that artificial side of sweetening that a lot of you know protein powders and all of that they may taste really good but you're getting hit with a lot of stuff and plus 
we contributed to our glycemic index going down. And so to achieve that is always a, a win. So anyway, that's, that's why uh, organic cane sugar came up is because, you know, simply our quality standards was not being met by other suppliers. And, and with that work, our research and development team, our quality assurance team worked together to make sure that it actually improved the overall formula. So that's one thing that you can rest assured that we're never going down in our quality. And, 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 and that, that was the reason I came on board and the reason why Isabel even started doing this with Carl is Carl, Carl promised to us that that wasn't going to happen. So we need to move sideways times when, when someone needs to put their cell phone on mute because it's, it's a lot of banging. Um, so, uh, so anyway, that's, that's organic cane sugar. So the bottom line is you tell your people it's actually lower on the glycemic index uh, than it previously was and we do all the testing ourselves. So, um, okay, so then what would you say to someone who thinks they, they can get an alternative shake cheaper? They can, they can get a cheaper shake. They can, people can copy, they can do all that stuff, but, 99.9% of the time, those people don't have the experience in all of the botanicals. They don't have the, the like, like I could like tell someone where to get all these ingredients. They're going to get it from a broker. They're going to get it cheaper and they don't have the testing. They don't know where it's from. They haven't done the auditing. So all of that, all of that said, someone can copy us and make a very cheap product even trying to mimic some of the ingredients. Okay, that's unfortunate in the industry that that happens all the time. The reason I took on the superfood hunting quest wasn't, was way, way before Beachbody, and it was simply because I knew that if you don't see it, uh, understand the processing, understand the people, understand the growing, that there's there, money wins, unfortunately. People around the world, hell, I just saw a research where they're basically dying uh, a green vegetables that are brown and yellow and they're dying them in India. And then so they're green on the market. That's the kind of gnarliness that happens in the industry. So if you don't have your eyes and ears and people on that, you don't know what you're getting. So anyone can copy and do all that stuff. If they don't have someone who represents their quality assurance, research and development, and can't speak to this on a firsthand basis, then you're just dealing with market frivolity and it just doesn't, doesn't mean much. They don't have someone like Isabel or myself. Uh, well, certainly I have traveled most of these places and you don't have that quality assurance. Like, uh, so, so, so there's so many different reasons as to an, an alternative shake. They don't have the, they, they're not putting their money where their mouth is on research and development to making sure that their ingredients are working well together because you can't just throw these things together. There's all kinds of inter, uh, interactions that botanicals have. If you have a botanicals that, that has sometimes a hundred to 300 micronutrients within one ingredient, and then you're putting 60 together, you know, 60 times 100, you're looking at 60,000 uh, or 6,000, 6, 60,000 different uh, interactions. So most people are not putting their money where their mouth is in terms of doing the research and development. Most people are not sending our people, we send to the quality uh, our quality assurance team goes all over the world, spe sorry about that, spending millions and millions of dollars to make sure that what's in that bag is in that bag, right? So we're doing what? We're making sure that no toxic compounds are getting in the material. We're making sure that the facilities themselves have been audited, that people have been there uh, to make sure that everything's processed in, in the correct way. And they're also making sure 
that the active compounds, the micronutrients, the powerful part of those ingredients, the, the maca mides that are in the maca, the vitamin C that's in the camu camu, these are the types of things that we test to make sure that it's just not some random powder that's supposed to be uh, an ingredient. And that's usually what happens in the industry. People just pass these ingredients uh, to one another and they don't really have the experience. So, so there's a lot, so rest assured, your biggest argument is the quality assurance that we have at Beachbody. Um, unfortunately, you can't find that by just turning over bags and, and, and comparing, especially ingredient to ingredient. You certainly can stay away from those companies that are using artificial flavors and sweeteners and uh, colors and things like that. And if they don't speak to that, then, then I wouldn't buy any of those things. So there's very few companies. And, and now if you talk about the food world, that's even as crazy. So you expect food to be safe. Um, and you know, the bottles and bags and, and, and boxes of food that's on our shelves. How many times do you actually get to talk to the people that created it and really ask them the question? This, this is important. We need to be critical of the, of the food that's going into our mouths and our families' mouths and all of these things. But, and I will also say question all of those supplements, all of those foods to make sure that that, that is, um, that they have the quality standards that, that I say that beach body certainly sets up a high bar for. Okay. So, so then I'll just back into, um, why the price, all of the things that I just said, basically support the price. Um, if we, didn't spend uh, in the early days, there was a handful of us, right? Doing a lot of work. And now there's hundreds of people uh, that are doing the research and development, the quality assurance and the operations to keep this very difficult formula of essentially starting as crops from around the world uh, and not just buying from some random uh, commodity buyer that's getting a subpar product and just throwing it in uh, the formula. Do you, you know, for me, the reason why uh, I showed up in countries is because I kept wondering why the potency of certain products were so low. And when I come to find, is that people aren't doing the work. They're either um, naive to the fact that they don't know how the farmer is growing it, they don't know how it's processed, and they expect it just to be uh, a, a good product and they're just buying it, or they just don't care. And it's usually both ways. Well, that's not what we're doing. We care, so we spend the money, uh, traveling with our teams around the world, um, ch chasing the 60 plus ingredients. And then you have an operations team that has to make sure that those farmers, those growers, those processes are doing it in the way that will scale to the millions and millions of people that Shakeology is and will be touching. So <clears throat> it's all fun and games. And I could start a whole new product line or tell someone to and and they could just start theirs and say theirs is the best but when you haven't done the work in the countries of origin when you haven't seen the process and you certainly haven't scaled to more than uh you know 100 people that you're selling your formula to it doesn't really mean much so we have to put our money where our mouth is and that's really why the price plus we're always innovating. There's things that you don't even know or see that we're always improving. We're always doing, we're doing some incredible research and development right now on ways of the formula to optimize as it works together within the drying process, within uh, 
understanding, putting more money out there for clinical uh, studies to support you guys to, to, to know that this is a clinic, clinically proven product. Certainly the satiation uh, quality, I think, is very powerful that we've clinically proven you get satiated. And that, for me, is because I think the, the micronutrient botanicals and, of course, the fibers and the proteins and all of that stuff, but you're really getting a, a powerful thing and on a micro level, on a cellular level. And if you're just eating out of volume and going for cheap food and supplements and products, you won't really be satisfied and you'll constantly you kind of turn to overeating because the primal brain will know that it's not getting the nutrients it really was designed to get. Um, so, so that's, that's really uh, what separates Shakeology is that we, we're doing the work, we've done the work, and we continue to innovate. Uh, and, and if you find yourself comparing it to a protein shake, then you're then uh, you don't want to be in that position because it's it's protein is one spoke on the on the wheel of why shakeology was created obviously proven ingredients clinically proven shown to help help you lose weight reduce cravings all of that stuff we're starting to impact the world, impact the farmers and the areas of, of, of where these things come from. I personally know farmers, have known them for 10 plus years, and their, their children's children have been impacted by the amount of work we've done with them. I mean, that is incredible. And it's a story that I want to continue to get out more and more. Now, understand that Shakeology is not a magic bullet. It's not something you're going to take and be stimulated. Uh, here in America, we're so, I want to feel it now. I want to, well, guess what? Chronic disease, which is destroying us. It's not fast disease, is it? It's chronic disease. So we have to get back to basic ways of living living a healthy lifestyle, moving your body on a daily basis, getting good rest, sleeping, sleeping seven to nine hours, um, getting good water and getting nutrient dense foods in your diet. And people say, well, I, I want to eat my food. I don't want to drink it. And I get that all the time. Well, guess what? I, I eat the greatest foods that I can get every day right? I spend the money. I do not buy pesticide or herbicide anything. Um, and I buy organic and all. And I always drink my shake. I always get my superfoods in because we're getting hit with food that are uh, still nutrient deprived because of our huge population and our massive growing of food. And we're also getting hit with huge amounts of stress, which increase our nutrient need, uh, which is why we put a lot of adaptogens into Shakeology, some of the greatest uh, botanicals in the world to help your body deal with all sorts of different kinds of stressors. So, so there's, there's powerful logic than the way beyond protein thing, prebiotics and probiotics. The, the microbiome is so powerful for your overall health and mood that if you don't acknowledge that side of your lifestyle, uh, then you're going to miss out on a massive amount of potential uh, of feeling great. So we put prebiotics and probiotics in Shakeology. Enzymes, they're like the the labor force of the body. If you don't have enough enzymes to even break down the multitude of food and from a healthy microbiome, you're not going to assimilate the nutrients. So we, Isabel and I looked at this thing, this, this opportunity for us to fill in the gaps of what people 
require in this day and age, right? In this day and age, if it was 300 years ago, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We would be getting our superfoods that were fully, fully neutral, nutrient, nutrient dense, but now we're not in that place, right? So we've been able to gather some of the greatest botanicals on the planet, test them to make sure they have what we've deemed as important and got them in this bag that happens to taste great so that you guys can live a kind of life that turns on the body, that allows the body to, 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 to uh, feel good, right? Uh, and, and really that's, that's the genesis of what this whole thing is about, right? It's so that you can consume this thing on a daily basis, not out of marketing and it's, you know, you should because Carl said, it's because an apple a day keeps a doctor away, but what if you had 60 plus in, in ingredients that were as powerful, if not more powerful than an apple, and you consume those every day? So it's really about supplying your body with those micronutrients that you need on a daily basis and filling in the gaps of our kind of modern day world. And that's really the difference between uh, every random shake out there and, and this well-tested, powerful formula. Again, it's not comparing ingredient to ingredient. It's understanding that the sum of the whole is exponentially greater than the individual parts. And that's really where we've done so much work and we're continuing to do. The cool thing about Shakeology is you guys see every so often we add a new ingredient, but the years that go into that to en enable that ingredient to, so that it works, that it's safe, that we've tested it, that it's at the quality, and then as it interacts with the formula, that you guys just think, well, we just got another ingredient, which is cool, but there's a whole host of things that have to happen. If we throw one new ingredient, it's going to throw the whole formula off. So we have to be very aware of that kind of organism of the formulation. And that's something that's a constant, you know, Isabel and I are on conference calls every day, getting updates on, on all of the innovations that we're doing uh, to improve the formula and also maintain it as it grows uh, so much. So, so anyway, that, that's some of the reasons as to why it's expensive. I think it's cheap. I've been on mountaintops. I've been in the jungle. I've been holding things that are at 17,000 feet or from the depths of the Amazon and Brazil or Peru. And that suckers in Shakeology. And you're like, well, if I didn't care about that, you could probably grab it and it wouldn't be processed or taken care of for a very long time. And then you're getting a subpar product. But from those places, if you know how to use those ingredients to make sure that they're at the potency that you can, it's actually cheap that you guys are getting the amount of botanicals that are in Shakeology for what they are. Because you know, that's, those are literally some of the greatest botanicals on the planet, and some of which that have been used for tens of thousands of years. Traditional Chinese medicine, uh, Ayurveda from the Indian tradition. I mean, uh, this, is, this is such a bloody convenience for you guys to have this shake, this beautiful package, it tastes really good to show up on your doorstep. Uh, you know, and that's for me, that's part of what I want to continue to share is like being in those places and knowing the journey of these ingredients, it's not expensive. However, if you're comparing it to other people that haven't done that work, haven't had that experience and don't know what they're doing necessarily, maybe out of naivete or they just don't care uh then yeah you're gonna find cheap products uh but that's just not what we're doing here so anyway how are you doing on time <laughs>
<laughs> I got a couple extra minutes. Is there another, is there another question? Anyone? Let me see. Let me see the chat. Uh, so powerful. Good. Any other questions from anyone? Yeah. So I would just say, um, you know, no, no artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners. Uh, we don't accept any GMO yeah. ingredients. Um, do we have a question? Yeah. What is the drying process like for the ingredients? Well, good question. So um, every ingredient has its uniquely its own drying process because obviously if you're, if you're using and drying camu, camu from the jungle as it relates to, uh, um, let's say, uh, ashwagandha from India, they're, they're different botanicals and they're also a different drying process. Essentially, it comes down to this, that once you harvest and grow uh, everything um, in general, you get it and there is a type of way that you have to wash it, sanitize it so that you don't kind of neuter the product, right? People can use chemicals, they can use harsh heat, they can do all kinds of things. So once you understand the botanicals and once you understand the active compounds that you want to preserve so that they get carried all the way through and show up as a powder in the bag, you have to then treat that botanical uh, appropriately. So that being said, um, uh, let's say, let's say, let, let me use an example, and then you can extrapolate on the idea that every ingredient has its own journey. So for example, uh, maca, right? It's one of the first ones when I was in Peru back in 2003 or four. Um, so it's a tuber and it grows at 15,000 feet. Nothing really else grows. So you pluck it once it's, once it's grown to maturity, you take it out and very close to the field, you will have a, you will lay it down in a kind of uh, with open ends and then a tarp over the top. And it's kind of the, there's a lot of sun, but it's still cold because it's elevation. So open ends of this long tent and then the sun penetrates the tarp and creates heat. And so that dries for about three months, right? It keeps all the active compounds. And then that gets sent and shipped into a facility where they then wash it, sanitize it, and then uh, dry it, and then they chip it. It goes through a chipper, and then they dry it again, and then it goes through a powdering, a fine grind powdering. Um, and of course, within that, you're getting tested before, during, after, in the field, all of that stuff. So all the testing is being done and then it gets into the, the final powder. And then that powder in the country of origin gets sent to the US, it gets quarantined, it gets fingerprinted to make sure it's what it's supposed to be. It gets tested again and make sure that it doesn't have anything that it's not supposed to, any contaminants or anything, and then ultimately gets um, blended into the final formula. So. So that's uniquely Tamaka, a very, very short version of that. So every ingredient has a very specific way to make sure that those compounds are not, you know, whacked out, that we want the certain compounds active, um, but that the process is very carefully done on a safety standpoint and a quality standpoint. So every ingredient literally has its own journey, but ultimately in this formula, it comes down to what is active and stable and in a powdered form, but still has what it's supposed to have. So, um, so when you look at that process, that's one ingredient. So times that by 60 plus, and you can understand that the organization of that, the operations team, the quality assurance team, the the R and D team, it's a constant, big daily basis uh, organization to keep in place. Um, but once you find really really good growers and suppliers 
then we really hone in on those guys. And, um, you know, we use a lot of the processors um, out of Peru, very good friend of mine. Uh, he has one of the best, if not the best processing in Peru. So we can funnel that final process down to him and then he can send to the U S and uh, we can get a lot of Peruvian and South American ingredients from, you know, uh, processors that we know. So anyway, that's a little glimpse, but, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. And then Carrie asked, I've looked into a lot of things with Shakeology being gluten-free in the vegan flavors are the oats certified gluten-free. Yeah, it's, uh, it's next to impossible to certify that from a legal perspective. So legally, uh, because oat is, is a potential for contamination from the field all the way to the facility of processing, I don't know if anyone would be willing to process an oat as gluten-free. Now, keep in mind that that is a food sensitivity that would be, uh, obviously, if, uh, if someone is legitimately gluten sensitive, which by the way, do your own research, the people that are actually gluten sensitive is very small. And I will leave you with this, this kind of off topic, but it's also important, so I'm gonna say it. Glyphosate, which is a pesticide that is used by industry for a very long time, is horrible for the gut. So exposure to any pesticide over your lifetime could have thrown off and created food sensitivities for you. Thereby, you can be reacting to gluten and many, 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 many other things. So I would um, be aware of that. And, and uh, uh, I won't go too far into the glyphosate thing. But my point is that uh, from a legal perspective, we can't, at this point, get that particular ingredient uh, 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 certified. Um, but there's many, many people that have been sensitive uh, and have used the formula. But I am not your doctor, so I can't tell you to do that. Um, but but I, that being said, there's things that we think we're sensitive to that ultimately are not the catalyst for food sensitivities and food allergies. And largely that is because of large growing operations um, since 1970s. 1970s. Um, so we've been experimented on uh, with pesticides and herbicides and has caused a lot of digestive issues in the industry. Uh, in, in, in society. So um, uh, food democracy now is a good resource uh, to check out for that. The reason I say that is because people are running around with food allergies and food sensitivities and they're, they're off focusing on things that may not be the source of their relief. So that's why I bring that up. Okay. Um, let's see. I think Take one more, yeah. Yeah. Um, so someone asked, um, proprietary blends. We don't actually know the amounts of each ingredient. Is that because of the drying of each and how they are formulated for each flavor and that differs, or is that for a different reason? All the above, yeah. So, so sometimes because of the vegan flavors and different strengths of even vanilla as it relates to chocolate, you have different interactions in the formula. So, so the proprietary blends have to, again, I'm going back to the alchemy, uh, they have to adjust sometimes to the formula. This is not such a set thing, which is why it's vulnerable for a company to tell exactly what that is because it has to shift. It's only based on when you're using these natural ingredients, you, you have to honor the, the strength of each of those. So, so therefore, that, uh, those blends can shift here and there. Uh, and we have to reserve our right to be able to do that as formulators 
to keep that those uh, formulas uh, as optimal as possible. I mean, that's basically that's basically the reason. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I think we have a couple. Yep. That's it. Thank right. you so much. Thank you for taking time because I know you probably answer these questions all the time, but it's just we really appreciate you being here and going through all these questions and um, we love Shakeology and thank you so much for doing all the hunting and going out and putting so much time, energy and effort into making sure we're getting the best quality. It's a great, it's a great cause and I'm happy to do it. And this is, this is why I'm here and education is key. And, and this is a, an important thing to educate on because it, if, if we're not telling you, then you wouldn't know. Because uh, you're not going to get that through the marketing materials or turning over the bag. So Isabel and I are dedicated to this too. So um, we love this, and this is why we did it. Not just to, not just to do it, is to to help people. So um, so I, I appreciate the time and 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 take this forward. You have a very special product there, and um, with a very special company that's not willing to compromise. So um, so yeah. Uh, it is my honor. So thank you. Thank you, Darren. And I completely agree. Does, does everyone feel excited after hearing that, that you can go out there and speak with even more confidence? Yeah. Awesome. We will get the recording up so that you guys can share this with your teams. Um, thank you, Carly, for being on to record. And um, hope you all have a beautiful Monday. Make sure to drink your Shakeology every day. I don't even know. It's been like almost seven years for me. And I, I will tell you guys, I just got sick when I was in Vegas, but I've been traveling for 30 out of 45 days, which is kind of crazy. And I'm like, I haven't gotten sick yet. And it was like the last day. But the one thing I can say with, with Shakeology is I recover so quickly. I mean, I was down and out for like eight hours. I couldn't even move. I couldn't even get out of bed. And I'm already like, up and about it's crazy so our health is so important and i hope you guys go out there and share this with so much confidence and knowing that you have the best ingredient on the market the best shake on the market to go out there and transform other people's lives thanks darren have a great day everyone cheers bye